First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to our power, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Braka for Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Raka Kodash. We love to give double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone who taught us this truth. And salutations to our sincere brothers that goes out on the highways and byways, week in and week out. And Shalom to our sincere brothers and sisters supporting this ministry. Shalom. What I want to say be patient for that gift because that gift is at hand. We need to be patient because that day is coming, that new kingdom is coming. I want to start with Matthew 4, 16 to 17. And it says, The people which sat in darkness saw great light, and to them which sat in the region and shadow of death, light is sprung up. From that time, Yahawashai, Hamashiach, began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Yahawashah is at the door. He's just pleading with us to repent because that kingdom, that beautiful place is right there, ready and waiting for us. Ready to receive. All right? Let me go to Jeremiah 33. One to seven, and this is about the, the nation's restoration and prosperity. Moreover, the word of the Lord Yahweh came unto Jeremiah the second time while he was yet shut up in the court of the prison, saying, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, the maker. Thereof, the Lord that formed it to establish it, the Lord Yahweh Basham Yahshai is his name. Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great the mighty things which thou knowest not. For thus saith the Lord Yahweh Basham Yahshai, the power of Israel concerning the houses of the city. And concerning the houses of king, of the kings of Judah, which are thrown down by the mounts and by the sword, they come to flight with the Chaldeans, but it is to fill them with the dead bodies of men whom I have slain in mine anger and in my fury and for all those wickedness I have hid my face from the city. Behold, I will bring it health and cure, and I will cure them and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. Right? And this is the part I want to read. And I will cause the captivity of Judah and the captivity of Israel to return and will build them as at the first, right? So that's all it is about, to repent, the restoration, right? Because you want to get to that beautiful place, all right? Now we're in captivity, all right? We are low at the moment. Okay, but Yahweh Shem Yahshua is going to renew us, right, into that new place. He will bring us up, good health, no pain, no suffering, right? He will return and will build them as at the first. 
all right because this this kingdom was made for us this world was made for us all right and only for us we went against him all right so he created esau right and put them above us to punish us and you know we have to take it if we repent the most high will bring us back into that beautiful place again all right that beautiful pace so we need to be patient with long suffering so i've got um tobit 13 um 7 to 11 i will i will extol my power and my soul shall praise the king of heaven and shall rejoice in his greatness let all men speak and let all praise him for his righteousness O Jerusalem the holy city he will scourge thee for the children's work and will have mercy again on the sons of the righteous <laughs> Mercy, that's all the most I do. Mercy for mercy, mercy for mercy, mercy for mercy. Right? Verse 10 Give praises unto the Lord, for he is good and praises the everlasting, everlasting king, that his tabernacle may be built, build it in thee again. That's what we need, right? Is with joy and let him make joyful therein. Thee those those that are captives and love in thee forever those that write that are miserable. Verse eleven Many nations shall come from far to the name of the Lord Yahweh Sham Yahshai, our power, with gifts in their hands, even gifts of the king of the heaven all generations shall praise thee with great joy right so let's be patient and wait because whatever was that had been taken from us right all those jewels right all those jewels is going to be given right back to us it's going to be given returned back to us and all the generations, right, shall pray, praise thee with great joy, right? So we want that, we want that to come back to us. We have to be patient, we have to fight, right? For that new, for that restoration, to be restored, new bodies, new mind, new spirit, right? Where it's going to be that good spirit that 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 will never go off again. Right? That's what we seek in, right? Because when the most high Yahweh Sham Yahshai, right, made all things, he made in perfection. But we disappointed him. Right? We disappointed him. Right? Um let me go to John. <clears throat> John 1. Sorry, it's like a John 14. 1 to 7. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in our power. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have not, I, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And he promised us that, right? He promised us that. Um, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go, ye know, and the way ye know. 
Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how we can know thy the way. Verse 8, Yahawashai saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him and have seen him. All right. So basically, Yahweh Shai, right, is the way, the truth, and the life. For us to experience that real life, we have to serve Yahweh Bashar Shai. Repent, all right? Be patient if we want that special gift because the gift is at hand. It's at hand, it's right there, ready to grab. But we have to be patient, all right? And we have to repent, all right? We have to, we have to repent in order to receive this kingdom, all right? Yahweh Rataza, which means Lord willing. All right, so let me go to let me go to the spiritual verse I saw, I read. All right, this is a spiritual verse in Revelations twenty-one, verses fifteen to seventeen. And that, and he that talked with me, had a golden reed to measure the city, and the gates thereof, and the wall thereof, and the city lie four squares square. And the length is as large as the breadth. And he measured the city with the reed, 12,000 furlongs. The length and the breadth and the height of it are equal. Verse 17. Now this is beautiful now. Right? And he measured the wall thereof and 144 cubits. All praise the Yahweh Shai. Yes, the 144,000. All right, you know that figure. All right, you know that beautiful figure. Let me say it again. And he measured the wall thereof and 140 and four cubics. Right? According to the measure of the man that is of the angel. Wow, that is beautiful, right? That figure, 144, right? But anyway, all I want to say is that the kingdom is, is near, very, very near, right? And we all seek in that kingdom. We all want that kingdom. We're so desperate for that kingdom. We are hasting for that kingdom to come, right? But what we have to do, we just have to be patient, take it. We have to take the pain and suffering until right Yahweh Shai returns for his chosen right there's so much things going on now right at the moment breaking news strawberry shooting right there's, there's so much shootings going on now so much killings going on now but you know why because the the most high is put in a spirit He's putting a spirit on these people, right? You think you could see that things are going down now, right? Things are really getting serious. So we just have to be patient, right? Repent, right? And just hope that you're ready and prepared for the Messiah's return. So with that, Shalom.